Do you want to know how to argue with your partner? How to throw it down. How to throw it down? She has to agree with everything you say. <laughs> so today we are focusing on arguing. Arguing with your spouse or arguing with your boyfriend or girlfriend or arguing with, significant other. with your significant other. You can start because you're the pro. <laughs> what am I a pro at? Arguing? <laughs> no, you're not a pro at arguing. What did you do? Nothing. I didn't do anything. Really, our video is not about fighting. Our video is the how to not fight. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have disagreements, everyone's gonna have disagreements, but how do you minimize those? So I okay. think number one is taking responsibility. Taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. If you're wrong, admit mm -hmm. you're wrong. Um, don't nag the other person when they make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Like I have this problem where I break a lot of glasses when I'm washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. They just totally slip out of my fingers and, and I have smashed about six or seven glasses in the last month. Yeah. And Papa never makes me feel bad. I feel so bad. I'm like, oh, and he's like, it's okay. And then he comes over and helps me clean it up. Mm -hmm. When you make a mistake and you're not perfect, don't make the other person feel bad for being human. Don't make them feel bad. Don't point out their mistakes. Mm -hmm. Help them. Laugh about it. Yeah, laugh about it. See, we don't really have a... We sat down today and we wanted to make this video. We didn't really have a plan on like, this is the list. We're just gonna, we just turn on the camera and we mm -hmm. go with it. So just sharing, it's just, like we're having coffee together. Yeah, like we're just talking. Coffee house. Yeah, because I don't want it and to be like a lecture. We just want to talk to you guys and just tell you how we feel. So Mama B said something great. Mm -hmm. Take responsibility. Don't point out the flaws of the other person. Mm -hmm. um, don't and dwell on the flaws either. Don't dwell on the flaws. And yeah, say sorry, apologize when you make a mistake, when you know it's your fault. Say sorry, be open about it. Don't hold it in. Because I think that a lot of relationships argue constantly. So they'll, they'll, they'll argue and argue and it'll pile up and pile up and pile up. And you forgot to take a step back and say, you know what, that, that argument was, was worthless. I don't even know why we argued. So I just want to say I'm sorry about that. And I apologize. And let's just move forward. If it happens again, let's, mm -hmm. let's, try, to, let's try to fix it sooner. I think that from my personal experience, if you can apologize or you can talk it out immediately after an argument mm -hmm. and just move on, it's better because it just piles up and piles up. And I think that mm -hmm. a lot of people get resentful mm -hmm. and then it's like years of like bitterness and hate towards the other person when you could have easily just turned around and said, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. And for the woman or the man. Right. But a lot of times men, from my perspective, will have that ego and be like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to stand down and... Ego and, and pride. Yeah, it's this pride. Like, two I'm not going to stand down. murders in relationships. Ego and pride. If you're too proud to say I'm sorry, or too proud to admit when you made a mistake, or to ask for forgiveness... Oh, that'll, that'll kill a relationship right away. You have to be able to open up and show your wounds mm -hmm. and communicate with each other yeah. just saying, you know what, I messed up, I'm sorry. Yeah, show your weaknesses. This is the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. This is the person that you want to spend mm. as much time as possible with. So, so show your you weaknesses. Why are you arguing? With that person? What's the point? Why does why does it have to be a numbers game? Yeah. So that's what that's what we've learned, and mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that our relationship is perfect, and it's not. We argue, we argue, and we fix it, and then we argue mm -hmm. again, and then we fix it, and that's how and things get better. Out. We talk and it out. There have been people who listen to the way we talk, and they're like, oh, like, how can you be so brutally honest? That's what you need to do. Yeah, you have to be honest. Like I've been actually criticized saying, how can you speak to him like that? Because he needs to know exactly how I'm feeling. Yeah. And if I'm unhappy, I don't say, you did this, you made me feel. I say, I feel like this. Yeah, it's not in an attacking way. No, it's just to tell you this is what I think should be fixed. And you mm -hmm. look at it and you say, wow, if you just open your eyes and realize what needs to be fixed mm -hmm. from either side, it just makes it that much easier take more responsibility. So mm -hmm. for us, early on, when mm -hmm. the kids were little, I felt like I was doing everything. Right. And I was so resentful because of it. And Papa thought that because he went to work and came home, that, that, that was, was it. it. And I was doing everything else. I was paying the bills. I was going grocery shopping. I was cooking. Mm -hmm. I was cleaning. And I was just up. working. And I was working too. And, right. and I got to a point where I was so burnt out and tired mm -hmm. and resentful and miserable. And then he started to take more off my plate. My mood lightened. I was happier. That cloud went away. Mm -hmm. So we were able to communicate better about things. 
and it wasn't just like piling on and Mama B wasn't just kind of holding these grudges. You started to listen. Yeah. Whereas before you were like, I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen. Now you were like, okay, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you felt like that. Right. Okay, I'm glad you told me. So what can I start doing now? Calm down. Calm, Calm down. down. We hear people <sighs> arguing over the dumbest things sometimes. And it's so funny because we'll see people arguing <sighs> over dumb stuff. Yeah. And it's and it's funny because what people argue about, we actually have fun with. Like, we'll goof off and we'll goof around. And I was like, I can't believe those people are arguing over that when we're actually laughing at things yeah. like that. Just calm down and relax. Like when Mr. Monkey, I got them both a bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm looking and it was this big cup full of beautiful, oh, creamy... Bubble tea. Mango beauty. Right? And, and I looked over at Mr. Monkey and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, he's totally going to knock that over. But mm -hmm. you know what? I'm constantly asking them to be careful. I'm not gonna say anything. Right. And sure enough, there was bubble tea everywhere in the kitchen. It was like a tsunami and of bubble tea. It was tea. a tsunami in the kitchen. Like it literally went everywhere. I don't even know how and it can't be. We just started laughing. The cup was this big, but the mess was yeah. ridiculous. And of course, Mr. Monkey was. He was, in he was in shock. He was scared. And I'm like, well, I knew mm -hmm. you're gonna knock it over. And it's okay. Yeah. It'll take us five minutes. We're gonna clean it up. Right. But I'm not gonna make you feel bad because you made a mistake. No, those are just accidents. Now, yeah. have we walked into a room and the monkeys are throwing mango uh, bubble tea at each other? <laughs> we have a problem. Oh my goodness. We have a problem. Yeah, I just no. look at Mama Bee and I'm gonna go hide under a couch. All right. So let's let's bring this bring this down to the main points of arguing. Talk. Communicate. That's the big thing. Take responsibility. Check your ego at the door. You are not the center of the universe. Right. There are other people on this planet mm -hmm. orbiting around you. Right. <laughs> Apologize and say sorry mm -hmm. and just open up mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Don't Show your softer side. Don't say sorry two weeks later. Say sorry no. right away. Take a step back, breathe, take a deep breath. Life is too short and yeah. here you've chosen to to have a relationship with this person, to be together forever. That was right. the goal initially that we all kind of forgot. Mm -hmm. And then we waste time bringing out the worst in each other. I don't believe we were meant to live this life miserable. No, you're I'm meant happy. to have fun. You're meant to, you, yeah. you're meant to laugh. You're meant mm -hmm. to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Take a, take a chill pill, mm -hmm. relax a little bit and just say, okay, uh, I'm going to give it a little bit. I'm going to think about it. Does this really, really matter right now? Is this worth yeah. arguing? Yeah, because we each do stuff like that drives out? each other crazy, yeah. but you got to pick your things. battles. Little things. Pick your battles. Is it really worth it? Yeah, I always leave the toilet paper off the toilet paper roll. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that something I, that Mama B does. Yeah. Mama B does not replace the toilet paper roll and it doesn't drive me crazy. I just laugh at it, mm -hmm. right? Um, so instead of actually, <laughs> instead of actually replacing the toilet paper roll, she'll actually just put another roll on top of the empty toilet paper roll and just leave. Mm -hmm. And hey, I'm totally fine with that. What's the big deal? What am I going to do? Argue mm -hmm. about that? No, you replace it. It's not a big deal. There must be one thing that one. I do that makes you Oh my gosh, how long can this video be? You always leave a tiny bit of juice in the container so that the next person who goes to pour it, like there's so little in there, you're like, are you kidding? Why didn't you just pour the whole thing and get rid of it and we can start a new one? But no, they, he leaves a tiny little bit and you're just like, because now you have to go through the trouble of throwing it out or discarding it. That's so annoying. He used to use my towel. I used and, to use your towel. And I would get so upset because <laughs> my towel is my towel. You cannot use my towel. I said one thing, Mama B. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot and of things. you know what else? No, no, that's it. <laughs> we love you guys. If there's anything else you would like to see or hear, please let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Share it with people that you think might need some of this advice. If you have any questions, Leave them for us. Yes. We'll try to answer them on the next video. Mm -hmm. And if there's any topics you want us to discuss, let us know. We love you guys. Yeah, yo. It's about how you make the other person feel. That's exactly it. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel nice. Do you feel happy? I feel very happy. Are you sure? Is this an interrogation? Where were you on the night of... <laughs>